you, Steve. Thank you, Troy. Thank everybody for being here today. It's great to come and celebrate with all of you. We've got a lot to celebrate. President Biden unveiled a lot of things, including a path to citizenship and comprehensive immigration reform, which we must pass. And we passed the PRO Act to strengthen labor. But we are here today to stand up against the over-criminalization of cannabis and to demand that Congress finally take action. Sweeping legislation like the Moore Act, which the House passed last year, would finally and officially remove cannabis from the list of federally controlled harmful substances and very importantly, expunge low-level marijuana convictions that have disproportionately harmed people and communities of color. More than 90% of the American public believe marijuana should be legal, either for recreational or medical use. And yet there are still too many people, disproportionately black men, locked up and trapped in the criminal justice system for something that is completely legal in 16 states, including New York and the District of Columbia and 19 other states that have legalized medical marijuana. Other bills before Congress, like the Secure and Fair Enforcement Banking Act, the Safe Banking Act, which the House just passed, will protect businesses and our economy by allowing marijuana-related businesses and states with some form of legalized marijuana to access the banking system. This is long overdue if we are serious about criminal justice reform, racial justice, and the economy. We need to get rid of these antiquated cannabis laws that have harmed our most vulnerable communities and we will keep working and now we can grow three plants each of us <laughs> thank you so much for having us it's great to celebrate with you